masjid, status, mission, and rule in the society. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever-glorious book, only who should tend Allah's houses of worship, who believes in Allah and the last day, and is constant in a prayer, and spends in a charity, and stand in awe of none but Allah, such people may hope to be among the rightly guided. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad is a servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. Masjids are important in Islam. They are the most beloved places in the earth to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they are the places where the pious and the righteous offer their acts of worship to Allah, the Most High. In recognition of his great honor of masjids, Allah added them to his name. A point that is crystal clear in the saying of Allah, the masjids are for God's worship. So don't invoke anyone else along with Allah. And in the hadith, the Prophet said, the parts of the land dearest to Allah are the masjid. And the masjids are the houses of every pious person. In truth, masjids are all inclusive schools where souls are fed with observing the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the recitation of the glorious Quran, where minds are built on a basis of wise and awareness, and where young generation and where young generation are brought up on the noble value and ethics. As for the construction of a masjid, it has to do with both the construction of building as well the building of minds. Allah glorified be to him has prepared a great reward for those who are engaged in the construction of the masjid, a fact recording in a saying, a fact recorded in a saying of Allah the Almighty, the worship in the houses which God has allowed to be raised for the remembrance of his name, morning and evening. People who are not distracted by trade or commerce from the remembrance of Allah and the observance of prayer and the payment of zakat. Fearing a day when hearts and eyes will be con conclusive. And in the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said, if anyone goes out in the morning or in the evening to the masjid, God will prepare for him his food in paradise as often as he goes out to the morning or in the evening. And no people get together in the house of the houses of Allah, mean the masjid, reciting the book of Allah and learning it together among themselves. But calmness, sakina, comes down to them and mercy will cover them. And the angels surrounded them and Allah makes a mention to them among those who are with him. For this reason, the Sharia ah urged Muslims to build, maintain, and preserve masjids. This is the evidence by the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said, He who will build a masjid for Allah, Allah will build for him a house in paradise, like what he built. And for those who care about masjid, they are in a high rank. A point that evidences by the fact that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, asked about the affairs of the women who used to sweep the masjid. When Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was told that he ha she had passed away, he offered the funeral prayer over her in recognition of her high rank in the sight of Allah, the Most High. When it comes to the etiquette that should be observed when visiting the masjid, there is a list that should be observed, including wearing the best clothes and using good perfume that suit the sacredness of the place. The prayer in the masjid is communicating with his Lord. Let 
along the fact that the masjid are the places where the most riches are gathered and where angels came down from the heaven, which means that the prayer should be dressed in the best way. On that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, all children of Adam, dress yourself properly whenever you are at worship. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, Allah is the one for whom you should be well dressed. The last of the etiquette also includes walking to the majid in serenity. That is evident by the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, if you hear the iqamah, you must walk to the prayer the masjid or the place of the prayer with tranquility and dignity as such masjids are the places of serenity and tranquility that's why muslims are prohibited to raise their voices in the masjid on that the messenger of allah peace be upon him said he who prays hold intimate converse with his lord so you must consider how you does so and none of you must recite the Quran more loudly than others. Muslims are banned to conduct buying or selling in the masjid, a point that is crystal clear in the hadith of the Prophet is saying, these masjids are only for remembrance of Allah, prayer, and reciting of the Quran. All praise is due to Allah the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his companions and followers. Masjids perform an important role and carry a great mission in the field of education, spreading the true message or image of Islam, correcting the misconception, building the spiritual values, spreading the best manner and showing the basis of how to maintain just approach of dealing with people, an approach that is based on righteousness and justice, while keeping away from fraud, cheating, greed, monopoly, and exploitation, an approach that, that, that takes what is lawful into account and that keeps away from all form it's what unlawful and indecent deeds, whether openly or secretly. The masjid societal rule is a, an important rule, as it's a spiritual rule too. It is through masjid that people can cooperate with each other to do what is beneficial for their community and for their country. And people in an atmosphere of solidarity, mutual mercy, relieving hardships, showing kindness to the poor and the needy, and promoting the humanitarian bonds among these hearts full of belief and aspire of bounties of all merciful, the mercy giving. A manner that realized the essence of the body projecting in the hadith. The Prophet ﷺ said, the simulated of believers in regard to mutual love, affection, full of feeling is like one body. When any lamps of, it, of its ages, the whole body ages because the sleepness and fever. And if anyone relieves a Muslim believer from ones of hardship of this worldly life, Allah will relieve him on the hardship of the day of resurrection. If anyone makes it easy for the one is indebted to him while finding, finding it difficult to repay, Allah will make it easy for him in this worldly life and in the hereafter. And if anyone conceal the faults of Muslim, Allah will conceal his faults in this world and in the hereafter. Allah helps his slave as long as he helps his brother. May Allah protect our country Egypt and all other countries of the world. Thank you so much.